Hey everyone, thanks for checking out or returning to my channel. I'm Natasha and this is my makeup party. I've got some things from Fenty for you today. The highly controversial new Fenty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. I have it on today and I also have on the Fenty eyeliner and that is called Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. I have both of those on today and I'm going to show you this palette. I'm going to walk you through how I did my eyes today and I'm going to show you the swatches from it. Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. So uh, Fenty kind of does things different on her palette layouts. I love this is so pretty. I mean, all these purples, that is right up my alley. The swirly iridescence of this little cloud here, and this is a total mess after I've used it. But the way they lay their palettes out is kind of different. They put these diamond shapes, and they put them all at angles like this. It's a little different. Some people don't like that layout. I'm okay with it. I think it's okay. Pan size is good on these. They're not tiny little pans. You have a very Moroccan spice themed thing going on here. We have all these warms and purples together, which everybody is doing. And that's why I felt like this palette is a little repetitive in the colors. I don't think they're bad colors. I just think that you probably already have a million palettes that have these same colors in them. I love the way this turned out today. I think they are beautiful colors. They're fa fantastic quality. Most of these are really good quality shadows. They're not thin or streaky. They're very pigmented and soft. You've got basically in this palette um, some mattes, a couple of satins, and then you've got what I would consider to be eye shadow toppers. You've got three of them right here. And those are glitter toppers. They would look best on top of maybe one of the mattes. Standing alone on your eye, these don't have a lot of background. They're just kind of a thin glitter. Then you have some nice metallics, smooth metallics in here. And they are very, very smooth. I have this one on my lid today, and it goes on like a dream. It is fantastic quality. It's very smooth and metallic. Let me swatch these for you. Okay, here are your three glitter toppers. I just wanted to show you those separate because it's hard to get all of these colors on my arm. This one has a lot, a little more body than these other two, but these other two are kind of just very light, sparkly topper glitters. There's not really a highlighter per se in this palette, uh, a good under the brow highlighter. So what I had to do was I put a little of this one on and then I put a little of this on top of it. It's still not as highlighty as I would like it. So I grabbed a little bit of the highlight out of my Natasha Denona blush duo, the little mini ones, and I patted a little on there because I was using the blush out of that duo anyway. Here are the rest of your shades. Um, what I'm trying to do on my swatches is I'm trying to put my finger in, sort of wiggle it around, and then tap once and drag down so that you can see how it shears out, how colors are if they're not very pigmented. I'm trying to not build them up. If they're not super pigmented, I'm trying to let you see that with just a single swipe of these. So you can see this one and this one are not super pigmented. Um, I really like this purple here. I love this on my lid. This is a great transition color here. So I received along with this palette, you could put in a code and get a free Fenty Beauty eyeliner. This is the Fly Liner and a deluxe sample size. So I went ahead and got one of these. I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. I think it's fantastic. I mean, look at that deep, dark line. It's not a shiny um, eyeliner. That's exactly what I want. I don't want a big vinyl eyeliner up there, and I'll show you. What I did have to do, wow, that is dense. It is a dense black line. What I did have to do is I started to put this on and it looked very watery. And I'm like, oh no, and then I shook it up. There's a little, you can hear something when you shake it. So I shook it up real good and that is when it started to come out really deep and dense. It's beautiful. I think it's a great liner. So here's how I applied this today. Okay, I'm going to start out with my lids primed. I'm going to use this light peach in my transition. I may not like how that's gonna look. We're just gonna try it and see. That color is called Quicksand. You've got a little chart on the back here to tell you. Brush is going in very easily. Quite pink, actually. 
sort of a warm pink. I think I'm going to use this tan color and kind of go over that pink and just let a little bit of the pink peek up above, but I'm gonna use this tan to kind of kind of uh, calm that down. And that looks like it's called Cumin Get It. I'm just gonna use the same brush, I think. Cumin, I get it. Spice, I get it now. And that's Cumin color, definitely. That's a good transition crease color right there. I'm going to take some of this light plum color right here and go into my crease with that. More of an inner crease. Souk it to me. S-O-U-Q. Souk it to me. That is actually a good color. All of this has blended nicely. It hasn't been patchy or thin, anything like that. I'm going to put a little of this shiny, shiny overcoat. I'm going to take this one, I think, and put that up under my brow. It may be a little too thin because I think it is just a glitter coat. But let's take a look. It's kind of deep for a highlight. Let's put some of the white that's next to it on top of that. Just gonna flip the brush over and brighten a little bit. It just kind of made that highlighter look more like a just a warm pink sparkle. Not really a highlighter per se in this palette for that purpose. I think I just have to do this. I think I have to put this shimmering purple in my outer corner. That is gorgeous. It is a deep blackened purple. This is just a Lorac brush. I must have gotten it with some kind of Lorac kit. It's kind of stiffer bristles and it's a little pointed and that's, I just really like to use that. I don't know, it just really packs on colors, color nicely. Now this is a sparkly color, kind of very dark and not giving me much pigment as far as the purple. I don't know if I like that very much. Let's go ahead and do the lid and then I'm gonna see what else I can do with that outer corner. I don't really like that purple out there. Gone sort of um, gray, I don't know. I'm going to pack this gold on my lid. It is beautiful. This is more dense metallic gold. This gold is beautiful. It, oh, look at that. It is very dense and satiny. It's got a sort of green cast to it. I think that may be the star of the entire palette right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Packs right on with a brush. It has enough body that you don't have to worry about using a brush. I'm gonna go into this deep brown right here called Nuts and Dates and use that in my outer corner. It is a very dark I started to line my eye, eyelid and then I realized I have a Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It says it's a long wear liquid eyeliner and it's called Cause I'm Black. So let's try that out as a long pointed application here. I'm gonna shake it up and make sure I'm giving it some kind of justice because when I first, okay, that's better. When I first started to put it on, it looked very watery, didn't it? Now the question is, is this going to be one of those shiny looking liners or is it going to dry down more matte? Because I don't really like the super shiny vinyl looking black liners. I also want to say I've had zero fallout with this palette, none, I mean, Okay, I think I'm just going to have to line under my eyes with this deep navy sparkling blue. It's like a deep teal. I'm going to have to do that. I don't know if it's going to work out because a lot of times those metallic blues like that just end up kind of muddy or they're very thin. So we're going to try it. I'm just going to take an angled brush and go in here. It's going to be a colorful look. Okay, that is going on really nice and pigmented. Yeah, good so far. Let's fade it out a little bit and see how it holds up. I'm gonna put a little of this deep tan 
sort of the rest of the way. I put a little of this really chartreuse top color on my inner corner and it's just a, looks like a top coat, a glitter topper for your, um, for your eye. Okay, so Fenty, um, love the packaging, love the packaging. Um, I feel like these colors are not real new, unique. I'm seeing a lot of these in a whole lot of other palettes. You've got some similarities, the Urban Decay Born to Run, the Urban Decay Beached palette. Um, a lot of palettes are doing this warms and purples and then throwing these blues in out here like this one is. I feel like a lot of the colors are similar-ish to the Alomar palette that I got from BoxyCharm, which um, even has, even down to this sort of very green gold that I just love, but the quality of this Alomar palette's fantastic. Like, I feel like this one is a little late to the game. Um, a lot of these same sort of spicy colors with blues thrown in for the summer, a very varied mixture of colors in one palette. A lot of, a lot of companies are doing that right now. I don't feel like it's a super superior palette, and I feel like it's very expensive. $59 for this palette. I feel like some other um, high-end palettes are less than that, and they have all these varied colors in them. I don't feel like it's a, just a super great palette. I do enjoy the eyeliner. I think it's a great, super dense eyeliner, super black. Sometimes on these liquids, uh, liquid eyeliners like this, they get very thin. This one is very nice and dense. So I like the eyeliner. I'm not crazy about the palette. It's okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel and supporting my channel so much. And if you'd please subscribe, it would help me out a lot to get those numbers up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.